Alrighty, so in this video we'll be showing how to properly fit crutches for an athlete. Alrighty, and first you start off by asking an athlete how tall are you? How tall are you? I'm 5'10". 5'10". Alrighty, so can hold up for me. Yes. So right here we have the different weights, or the different weights, the different heights, and this one goes from 5'2 to 5'10", and if he was shorter than 5'2 or taller than 5'10", then you'd have to grab a different crutch that, that will work with that height. So it's already set at 5'10". And to check, to make just to double check to make sure that they fit properly, we'll have the athlete put their hand up at 90 degrees, right here. <laughs> and then the other hand will go out straight with the fingertips facing out. And then you'll just line it up, make sure it's about that same length, which it is. All right, and then before we hand off the crutches to the athlete, we have to double check to make sure all the grips and everything are fine and all the handles are in place, just so there isn't any accidents while they use the crutches. So you check the pad here, grip here, make sure it's uh, all nice and not ripped. And then check the pad down here, make sure it's not broken down or anything because we don't want them to slip. Everything looks good. All right, so we'll have the athletes stand up and then we'll give the crutches to them. All righty, and then we'll have the crutches two inches to the side and then four to six inches out right there. And we check their arm to make sure it's about 30 degree angles, which is they are. And then if they weren't at 30 degrees, then you just have to adjust the grip, the handles up or down to fit the required angle. All right, so everything looks good there. All right, now we're gonna have that athlete learn to walk. Yep, just wanna go down here so you can see. All right. So when instructing the athlete on how to walk, you have to make sure that they know that they should start going slow and they should go about 12 inches at most. And then once they get used to it, they can increase that if they want. So when they're gonna be walking, they're gonna bring their crutches out about 12 feet or 12 inches, and then they're gonna swing their body through and then land on their good foot. And then they'll just swing again. And then they're just gonna repeat that process. And then once they're more comfortable, they can increase how far they're gonna be uh, leaning forward. And then next, we're gonna instruct them on how to go up stairs. All right, and when instructing an athlete on how to go up the stairs, the motto we use is go up with the good, down with the bad. And also we have to just emphasize going slow because it is difficult at first, but once they get the hang of it, it'll become more natural to them. So when the athlete's going up the stairs, we want them to put their crutches, or their uh, good foot, starting off on the stair, just like that. And then you're gonna lift your, all your body weight on that one foot, and then you're gonna bring your crutches and your bad foot up at the same time. And then when going down, you're gonna go down with the bad. So you're gonna have your crutch down, then your bad foot, hover, have it hover over the ground, and you're just gonna hop your good foot down. Let's go through that one more time. So you go with your good foot, put it all the way up on the stair, and then put your whole body weight up, and put your crutch and bad foot. And then you're gonna do your crutches, have your foot hover down, and then hop down. Alrighty, and lastly we have the four point, four point gate. So if you want to keep over here, and turn around. So with this, this is when athletes a little farther in their recovery where they can start to put a, some weight on their foot, and this is kind of what they use to get used to putting more and more weight as they go until they eventually don't need crutches anymore. So what they're gonna do is they're gonna essentially just do the opposite crutch with their opposite leg. So if he was gonna start off, he would put his left or right arm with his left leg, take a step, and then repeat the other process. And so then he's only putting, so if his injured foot was his left leg, he would he could still he could decide how much weight he wants to put on it just by how comfortable or if he can feels with the weight on there. And then he'll just repeat that process and then just walk like that. And then eventually he can go quicker to where eventually he'll be walking like normal, just putting almost all the weight on his foot. 